Multibloom is a colourful and exciting game about growing and selling flowers. The game will help kids to easily master the multiplication table. The game is for children of 9 and over, but there are simplified rules for 7 year olds. The object of the game is to earn a certain number of coins before everyone else. If there are 2 or 3 players, then it's 33 coins. If there are 4 or 5 players, then it's enough to earn 22 coins. The coins come from the customers. On the left is the number of flowers that they need. On the right, the number of coins that the customer will pay for them. We'll use these cards to grow flowers for sale on our flower beds. And we'll use these special cards to increase the yields of our flower beds and sabotage the competitors. Three customers come to the market. Our objective is to grow the exact number of flowers one of them needs. Each player is dealt five flower cards. We'll use them for our flower beds. Each turn of this game brings many opportunities that make playing it especially exciting. Here's what you can do during the main stage of your turn. First, you can plant the flowers on the flower beds, but only one kind of flowers can be planted at each flower bed. And you can have three flower beds at the most. Or you don't have to plant any flower beds if you don't want to. Second, Say you want to get rid of some of the cards that you have. You can offer them to other players. If the competitors agree to accept your gift, they have to use it immediately by planting the flowers to their existing flower beds, starting a new flower bed, or uprooting the old one. They can do anything but take these cards into their hands. If other players don't agree to accept your gift, you keep it. Third, if a player wants to plant a new kind of flower, he can uproot any of his existing flower beds. Each flower bed can be uprooted and replanted more than once in the course of one turn, so that players don't use this trick to get rid of unwanted cards. The uprooted flowers are taken out of the game. Fourth and the most pleasing action, if one of my flower beds has the exact number of flowers as requested by one of the customers, I can sell them to him. The flowers from the flower bed are taken out of the game and I take the customer card and put it into my pile. To have the right number of flowers for sale, I can uproot part of the flower bed by taking off one or several cards. Both the flower cards and the increased yield cards, we'll talk about those later, can be taken off. After selling the flowers, the player can complete the turn by planting a new flower bed in place of the used one. Besides the main stage of the turn, there's an additional one called the scattered seeds, and it follows right after the main actions are completed. During this stage, the player who just completed his turn takes two cards out of the deck and places them face up for everyone to see. He can either use one or both of these cards, or pass the right to use them to the next player clockwise. And if he doesn't use the cards, the right passes to the next player. If nobody wants to use the scattered seeds, the cards are taken out of the game. It's forbidden to use the cards from your hand in the additional stage of the turn. Just the scattered seeds. Scattered seeds cannot be taken into the hands, they can only be used immediately. If the flower bed was already uprooted or planted in the main stage of the turn, it can once again be uprooted to plant the scattered seeds, but not more than once. If the player forgets about the scattered seeds and starts taking new cards for his hand, the other players don't have to remind him of his mistake, and the turn simply passes to the next person. And the turn is complete, the player takes new cards from the pile, so he has five altogether. If any purchases were made during the turn, the number of customer cards on the table is updated so that there are three. This cannot be done during the turn, only after it's completed. If the flower card deck is running empty, the out of the game pile is shuffled and the cards are brought back into the game. 
There are several kinds of special cards in the game. Among the customer cards, it's the largest flower bed card. The player can get this card during his turn. If his flower bed has more flowers than any flower bed of the other players, in this case, he simply exchanges this flower bed for the card. The second special customer card is called Change of Customers. When it appears on the table, all of the previous customer cards are taken out of the game and three new customer cards are placed. The flower card deck has two types of cards that increase the yield. The magic watering can that can double or triple your yield. This card can be placed on any flower bed and that will mean that this particular flower bed has twice or thrice as many flowers. The magic watering can multiplies all the flowers on the flower bed at once. It can't be applied selectively to just part of the flowers. Magic flower card. The player who makes a move with this card can't plant it himself and has to gift it to any other player. The recipient of this gift has to take the card and immediately use it on one of his flower beds. This can be planted along with any other flowers and it will turn into the same type and number of flowers as the rest on the flower bed. If you plant it with the fives, it will also become a five. The card can only be planted on a flower bed that already has some flowers. It can't be planted on an empty one. If all flowers are uprooted or destroyed by pests and the card is left without any flowers, it is taken out of play immediately. The most harmful special cards are the bugs and the moles. Bugs. If a player is attacked by bugs, he has to take one flower card from each of his flower beds out of the game. The bugs can only affect the flower cards and have no effect on the increased yield cards. Moles are cunning. When a player uses a mole card, he gets to take from one to three cards from any flower bed of any player, but just one. The mole primarily takes the flowers. If there are less than three flower cards on the flower bed, but there is a magic flower, he gets to take that. Last but not least, he gets to take a magic watering can. After that, the mole is out of the game. The cards taken by the mole can't be separated and they have to be replanted to the same flower bed. The pest attacks can be repelled. If you have the same card, you can counter attack. In this case, all the harm is transferred to the attacker. The mole can take his cards and the bug can eat his flowers. The player that repelled the attack takes a new flower card from the stack to have a full hand of five cards. The game has a simplified version of rules for children of seven and older. For this version, you can only use flower cards with three, four, five and six flowers. The only special cards used are the bugs. Only a part of the customer cards is used. The cards for this version have special marks on their corners for easy selection. Compared to the basic version, there are the following differences. The players only plant two flower beds, not three. Only two customer cards are placed on the table. The game ends when all the customer cards have been played. The player with the most coins wins. And that's it. Have fun growing and selling your flowers.